everyone, welcome to the Ever Seeking Empath. I'm a reader who uses tarot, oracle, and charms, and today's reading is the September predictions. So we're just going to do some cards and charms to see what might be coming for you this September. I do want to remind everyone that it is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody, so just take the messages that you feel are meant for you and then disregard the rest. Also, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, because it really does help me out a lot. It helps the channel and then you get to see when I've posted new content right away. And thank you so much to those of you who have already subscribed. So we have three piles here today. I'm using the Whispering Woods um, little inspiration cards here. So pile one says kindness, take respite by a pond and be kind to yourself and others. Pile two says origins, remember your roots. And then pile three is humility. Flowers are unaware of each other's beauty. They bloom regardless. So just let your intuition guide you to a pile. I'm going to put the timestamps in the description box and in the comments below. And we are going to get started now with pile number one. Hi group one, so if you chose kindness for your Whispering Woods card, then this is your reading. So we are going to start with your tarot and oracle cards and then do your charms at the end, so make sure that you stay tuned for that and get your entire reading there. So let's figure out what's coming for you in September. So for your tarot, you have a four of cups, eight of cups, and the chariot. So. I feel like at the beginning of the month especially you might just be feeling very bored and kind of like that sense of ennui you know just feeling very like I don't want to say like melancholy but just very apathetic towards a lot of things you might be kind of contemplating trying to figure out how you feel about something and then I feel like there's this decision coming up that you'll maybe need to walk away from something that you feel like is okay but just doesn't feel right to you you know it's not as fulfilling as you wanted it to be so maybe that's why the four of cups came out is that you expected something to feel much more fulfilling than it does and it doesn't so with the eight of cups that's the decision to maybe walk away from it move on in the hopes of finding something better something that fits you more something more fulfilling so this could be a career a relationship you know a job um, it could be like a hobby that you wanted to try and you just aren't really enjoying it. So you need to kind of move on and find something else. But I do feel like you are going to get your enthusiasm back because with the chariot here, especially in this one, this horse is like cruising, you know, it's flying through the sky. So I feel like you're definitely going to get moving on something and you're going to have a lot more enthusiasm and excitement about whatever this new thing is going to be. But you do have to make that decision first to walk away from whatever doesn't feel right. So let's see what your oracle cards have to say. So you have compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. So that fits super well with your kindness card. So that's a really cool synchronicity there. Um, so I feel like for a lot of you, this could be a relationship or like a friendship or something where you were trying something out or you were like wanting to meet up with somebody or you know, just something you were trying to develop with somebody and it just isn't working out. So I think this is kind of saying make sure that you are being kind to them if you decide to cancel on them or feel like this relationship just isn't working out the way you wanted it to. And I think it's also saying don't beat yourself up for maybe setting your hopes on something that didn't end up working out. Like if you took a chance on something and now you're feeling like, oh, why did I do that? It didn't really work out or it's not for me. Show yourself kindness and forgive yourself if you feel like you made a wrong choice. You know, you don't have to beat yourself up. You don't have to kind of tear other people down. Just try to be kind to everyone involved in this situation. You have passion. So that fits really well with the chariot card coming out. So I do think you're going to find something that you're a lot more passionate about. Maybe you are finding your passion for something. So with a career or a job or a hobby or something, maybe you're trying to find something that you feel really enthusiastic about. And this can also kind of fit with relationships as well, whether romantic, that you're wanting something more passionate and more fiery where there's more chemistry, or even just passion like for a friendship. Like if you have friends who you just feel like you get together and you sit on your phones or you just don't feel like you have that much fun together anymore, maybe you're trying to find a new way to go about this or a new like 
kind of dynamic to the relationship. So I feel like a lot of you that might resonate with if it doesn't have to do with career. You have loss. So a lot of you might have suffered a loss or this is just like a loss of something that you wanted to happen. So I do think for a lot of you, that's maybe why you're feeling very unfulfilled is something is missing. Like even if this isn't like a major loss, um, maybe you've just felt like something is missing or, or a part of this connection or a part of this job or whatever didn't turn out as you wanted or it disappeared, like something got pulled away, like you're not doing some sort of task that you were hoping to do or um, like the person that you're dating didn't turn out to be who you thought they were, you know, something like that. So there's just this sense of loss and it could also be an actual loss or maybe you're fearing the loss of a job or the loss of a relationship because of this lack of enthusiasm, like you don't want to walk away from something if you can't guarantee that you'll get something better, you know, it's, it's scary to walk away. So I think this is saying, accept that loss. Um, because there is this like hope here because with this unicorn and this is interesting, this is a dragon deck and I love that you got a unicorn cause this, um, is my unicorn deck. So that's kind of cool that that seems to be kind of linking it back in. So maybe because you got this compassion card, maybe that's going to be the key to kind of making it through this loss or maybe, you know, if you reach out to other people and ask them for help or assistance or um, just some compassion that will help you make it through this loss. And that might even like hook you up with your next job or your next partner as well. So just keep that in mind. And then finally you got, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So a lot of you, I do think it's just, you're feeling very negative about the situation you're in. And I think it's saying, you know, you have a choice. You can either release the negative mindset that you have surrounding the situation or you can release the situation itself but the situation as it is right now is not working for you so let something go and I think that's why you're fearing this loss um, but I think it will turn out better I think loss is always hard but whatever you're moving towards is a much better fit for you than where you are right now so I want to get your charms now for some more information And we are going to use the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of the situation. So group one, what's coming for you this September? Okay, yeah. Um, so there's this energy of like healing or kind of maintaining your health or your happiness here because you have the stethoscope. So I feel like even kind of a checkup on the situation, checking into how you're feeling, um, physically, mentally, emotionally. And I think that's why you're recognizing that whatever you're in right now is not working for you. So I think that checking up on yourself or checking up on other people is going to be significant right now. And that's going to kind of tell you where you need to go as well. I think it's going to tell you what you're missing and then you can start moving towards something that's a lot more fulfilling for you. So you have Leo energy coming out, which is great because that's all about passion and excitement and enthusiasm, kind of being the center of attention at times. So maybe that's something that you're a little bit worried about. You have the number three here. Um, so that often makes me think about working together as well. So I do think connecting with other people is going to be significant. And then you have the number 19 here as well. So 19 is the sun card in tarot. So that's awesome. Um, so that's making me feel again, like things are going to work out for you, but three and 19 might also be significant dates this month. So September 3rd, September 19th, just keep those dates in mind to see maybe what happens those days, or maybe those will stand out for you in some way. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're wanting to move into something that feels a little bit more enriching and like more of a treat like you want to indulge in something so maybe it's something that you feel like it's a little more dangerous or um, like risky in some way or it's not as good for you like maybe it's not going to be as good for you financially but you'll feel better about it like emotionally so um, I feel like this is saying kind of take the gamble a little bit even though I know donuts don't have to do with gambling but I'm thinking just like you know, not thinking too much about it, not being very particular or fastidious about things, just making sure that you are kind of going for what, just what you want, you know, do it just like kind of leading with your heart, you know. Um, so I think a lot of you need to practice doing that. 
you have the hedgehog too so i do feel like a lot of you have been kind of guarded for a while but um i think it's time to kind of open back up and be vulnerable again and just yeah take that risk you have the bird coming in so that's communication that's movement um, a lot of you might connect with people who will help you with whatever the situation is you have the little like lollipop or baby rattle or whatever it is um, so again I feel like that kind of childlike joy just like appreciating the little things is really coming forward um, so I do think even if it's something where you would take a financial hit or you'd move somewhere um, that's a little bit like harder to make a living or you know there's just something about whatever you're doing that might be a risk but I think you are going to feel better about it overall even if you are making some sacrifices to get there you have the snowflake so that's winter um, so winter might have been significant in whatever this decision was it might mean that something's coming for you in the winter as well that that's kind of a significant time period related to whatever this decision is but I think it also has to do with like the uniqueness of snowflakes, like no two being alike. So I feel like some of you are feeling like, hey, it didn't work out for me before or like it didn't work out for a friend of mine. So why would it work out for me? But just keep in mind, no two situations are alike. So just, you know, trust in yourself to know what is different about the situation and about what you want to do. Um, and just I feel like trusting in yourself is really important. I do think that there, this is going to be a difficult thing to do because we have the teardrops, so I feel like this is going to feel like a loss, even though it might still be better for you in the long run than sticking around. Um, so just allow those emotions to flow. You have the little perfectly imperfect flower that's really wonky looking. So again, uniqueness, um, standing out, something that you feel maybe doesn't look as traditionally pretty from the outside but really feels a lot more fulfilling it feels more like you so just kind of go for that you know I, I do feel like whatever this situation or this person is they do stand out from anything else around it and then finally you have the fan here so I feel like a lot of you um, I'm I'm thinking a lot of the time of like flirting so maybe you're flirting with the idea of something um, it could also be literal flirting like you're flirting with somebody and you're trying to figure out if you want to go for it or not so I feel like a lot of you there's just this kind of like in and out energy like you've got one toe dipped in the water but you haven't decided to fully like jump in yet so I think that's why it's saying you know if you're wanting to fully jump in then do that and if you're just kind of flirting with it because you're afraid to step away from it in fear that you might not get anything better you will find something better so just trust in whatever your gut is telling you because I don't think that it's going to steer you wrong so group one, I hope that this resonates. I would love to hear if it does, so please leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi group two, so if you chose Origins for your Whispering Woods card, then this is your message. So we're going to start with your Tarot and Oracle cards and then do your charms at the end. So make sure that you stick around and watch those so that you can get your full reading. So let's figure out what is coming for you in September. So for your Tarot, you have Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, and Death. So I definitely feel like you're working hard this month. Um, you might be trying to perfect something, whether it's a skill or something that you're working on, a project. Um, but I definitely feel like you're you're not being lazy this month. Um, I definitely feel like you're trying to build something. Maybe it's for other people because I'm really kind of noticing how there's like the squirrel and the dog in here with all the coins and, and little pouches and stuff. Um, so I feel like you're maybe working to protect loved ones or protect what you have already. Um, that's not always what I get with the Eight of Pentacles, but in this particular case, that's really standing out to me on the card. And I feel like you are going to have a good month, but I think it's going to be maybe a bit up and down because um, you might have to let something go. You might be moving on from one era of your life into a new one, but I think you are going to be feeling really good. I think things are going to be coming up very successful for you. I'm almost getting like the Rumpelstiltskin like spinning straw into gold kind of vibe from this. Um, but with death, I think this might be a difficult transition. 
this month. Um, there might be something that you feel like is a loss or just like the final nail in the coffin is kind of the phrase that's coming to mind. So I feel like there's something that's been kind of petering out in your life for a while and you've been maybe trying to hang on to it or you feel like it just, you know, you were having a hard time letting it go and now it's finally time to just release it and I think you're going to be a lot happier for it. But I want to see what your oracle cards have to say. So you have healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. So a lot of you might be resonating with that, that you feel like you have a very healing energy. You might be into like energy healing work um, or you might be in the medical field or just very, you might be very therapeutic. A lot of people might come to you with their problems and you might be that type who's just very um, like very compassionate, very soothing towards other people and that people feel better once they leave you, um, if that makes sense, like that, that you leave people better than they initially came to you. So I think a lot of you are feeling maybe even drained from that too, because a lot of the time if you're healing other people, it can really leave you feeling tired and exhausted and I know I don't have that in the tarot cards but that's one thing that I feel like is really coming through is make sure that you're taking care of yourself especially if you're working so hard and perfecting things just make sure that you're not letting yourself burn out um and with origins remember your roots I wonder if a lot of you maybe aren't currently feeling like healers but that's something that has always kind of pulled at you so maybe that's what the death card is talking about too is that you need to kind of end the era that you feel like isn't working for you anymore and move into this phase of doing something that you've always kind of thought about you know remember your roots makes me think that it's something that has just kind of been part of your being since you were born um but you really haven't acted on it until maybe now and now you're really wanting to put the work in and develop the skill set needed to work on whatever this is and you might also have been kind of drawn to pile one because they did have a similar energy of like moving on from something that's not quite good enough anymore, moving into something new. So if that's the case, go back and watch pile one. If that's kind of drawing you in as well, I'd be interested to kind of hear what you have to say. You have talent. So yeah, I definitely think there's like kind of a dormant talent that you want to work on that I think you're going to be able to perfect this month, um, that I think you're going to be able to make a lot of improvements this month, but it will take maybe letting something else go, maybe making time for it as well, because I think a lot of you have not really had the amount of time for it, and I think you're really wanting to work on it again. You have gifts. Yeah, so um, this can mean that somebody might come to you with a gift or you might feel like you're getting a gift from the universe as well. But I do think for the most part, this is talking about like your spiritual gifts, your natural talents, the things that you were just born with that you feel like you're meant to do, that you're naturally good at, that you just feel like you're in that state of flow when you do these things. That's the kind of gifts it's talking about. So I do feel like a lot of you need to kind of reconnect with that pure essence of yourself to figure out, hey, what are my gifts? What are my talents? How can I make them better? And how can that lead me to a more fulfilling life? And then finally, you have emotions are running high, supermoon. So yeah, with the death card, especially the death card often brings an emotional time. Sometimes it's like a sense of resignation that it's something that you've been fighting for a while and now you're finally ready to let it go. Um, but I think for a lot of you, this is something that maybe, um, maybe the emotions are running high and this talent or skill is something that you turn to, to cope with whatever these emotions are. And this also might be emotions running high about this skill. So maybe you're really excited about it or you're terrified or whatever, but I just feel like it's going to be a very emotionally powerful time right now. And this is also making me think of what I was saying with the sun card and death, that it might be very up and down this month, that you might be feeling on top of the world one minute and then very, very down the next. But I think that's why this kind of grounding energy is going to be important to help you feel more stable because otherwise those emotions can just kind of sweep you up and, and like sweep you out to sea. Um, so I think just make sure that you are kind of staying grounded with this healer too. Maybe that means that you need to seek out somebody else's healing energy or like really work on your healing. If you're not resonating with the message of being a healer or feeling like people come to you for healing, maybe you need to work on your own healing. Um, so just keep that in mind. That might be something that a lot of you are resonating with. 
So I want to get your charms now for some more detailed information. And we are going to use the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of the situation. So group two, what's coming to you in September? All right, nothing landed in the heart, so that's fine. That just means that there's no particular focus for everybody this month, which is kind of what I was feeling because that seems like not that it's a vague message, but I feel like it's going to resonate with everybody differently this month. Um, so I just want to kind of explore what we have here. So we do have smile. That's the first thing that's kind of popping out to me. So I do feel like for a lot of you, um, just kind of putting in that effort to smile this month. And I do think that it is going to be a happier month, a more fun month um, with that sun card as well. I think that's a really good sign. Even if emotions are running high and you're having a difficult time, I think that you are going to have a lot of joy in this month as well. Um, you have the letter G here, so that might resonate for you. It might be an initial or a word that comes to mind. You have cancer energy as well. And cancer, I always think, is like the emo sign. So very emotional, very um, sensitive, very kind of in tune with the moon as well because we do have the moon here. So I feel like a lot of you are feeling very emotional. You might be feeling fearful as well about what's to come or what's going on. Um, I think a lot of you are just really needing to kind of connect with your emotional selves and really work on your healing if you feel like your emotions are tumultuous or like you feel like you're not very in touch with your emotions. This might be a good month to do that. You have the jug here. So that's my symbol for you can't pour from an empty cup. So what I always mean by that is that you have to fill up your own emotional cup before you can help anybody else or before you can devote that emotional energy to other things. So just make sure that you are doing the things that help fill up your cup, that help you feel more emotionally fulfilled, more emotionally stable, whether that's reaching out for help or just investing in your hobbies, investing in your self-care, investing in your health. I think that's going to be really important. Um, so we do have the gift here. So again, your gifts, um, your spiritual gifts, your talents that also, again, might mean that somebody's coming to you with a gift. It might mean that the universe has a gift for you, but I do think that that's got kind of a double meaning for everybody this month, that your spiritual gifts are really coming out, that you feel like you really want to work on them again, and something is going to be presented to you. It might even be an opportunity that comes out of nowhere, but I think there is kind of a surprise in store for you this month. So I would love it if people would come back at the end of the month to tell me what that is. If that came true, I would love to hear. You have the star here. So I think wishes and dreams and hopes. Um, I think a lot of you maybe are working on some more lofty ambitions this month as well. Maybe you're really thinking about what you truly want you do have the heart too so that makes me think of like what the heart wants and it also can uh, have to do with your relationships so connecting with people it could be like the kind of relationship that you want maybe your relationships are flourishing this month as well you have the plane here so that makes me think of like fast movement travel doing things you haven't done before seeing things from a higher perspective um, we've got more fun energy here with the drink so that makes me think of just enjoying like friendships, um, really connecting with people, socializing. So I think that is going to be important this month. The butterfly is a symbol of transformation, which is the same as the death card. So that's more of that death energy of the end of one phase, the end of one era and moving into a new one. You have the sun hat here. So that makes me think of like um, kind of protecting yourself from things getting really good and there is like a lot of vacation energy here too um, so it could be a literal vacation that you're either taking or planning this month because you have the palm tree and then you did have the plane over here so I think a lot of you might be planning a vacation or going on a vacation this month um, but the sun hat also makes me think of kind of shielding yourself because you're afraid of potentially how good things could get like it might get overwhelming so just keep in mind that it might be a good idea to kind of like take a rest first if the energy is going to start getting really high soon. You do have the binoculars, so that makes me think of like seeing the future, um, kind of planning things far out. It's kind of two of wands energy, like really trying to plan out um, that strategy, your plan of action, trying to kind of figure out what kind of future you want so you know what steps to take. You have number six here, so... Um, 
September 6th might come through for a lot of you. A lot of the time the numbers have to do with dates, but 6 is also the lover's card in tarot, so that might be resonating, especially because we were talking a bit about relationships and you have the heart here, so um, this might be relationship related, that maybe that's going to start making you really happy or like the end of one era is coming in, so it doesn't necessarily mean the end of a relationship, but it's like if you're bringing your relationship to the next level, maybe you're moving in together, that's the end of your living separately. If you are getting married, that's the end of just, you know, your singledom. So I think a lot of you might be in that kind of end of one era, beginning of another phase right now. And then you do have the circle as well, which talks about cycles. It talks about sometimes feeling like you're stuck in a loop that's never ending. So some of you might need to really put in the effort to break that cycle as well. So I'm really interested in hearing what happens for you guys this month. Um, I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear if this resonated. So please leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi group three. So if you chose humility for your little whispering woods card, then this is your message. So we're going to start with your tarot and oracle cards and then do your charms at the end. So make sure you stick around and get your entire reading that way. So let's figure out what's coming for you in September. So for your tarot, you have the Ace of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Seven of Wands. So well, I feel like a lot of you, this is going to be like a new spark of something this month. You might get like a burst of inspiration or it might just be time to take action. I feel like a lot of you have been maybe in this hanged man energy or you're going to be in this hanged man energy for a little while, like trying to figure out if you should make a move. Maybe you took a step back from something and you're trying to figure out what move to make. Um, but I do feel like with these two wands cards, it is time to take action because the ace of wands... It's a lot of like very active potential energy, inspiration, creativity. Um, it's just a very action oriented card. And then the seven of wands is often someone standing alone, but persevering, you know, pushing through. Um, it's just a very perseverant, resilient energy. Um, so I feel like a lot of you maybe have like thought about doing something and then you're not sure if you can make it or you have like a really big burst of action and energy at the beginning of the month and then you take a step back, you need to take a rest, you need to kind of reevaluate things or you get a different perspective on things. And then it's like, okay, you know what, even if I'm standing alone, if it's me against the world, I'm still going to go for it anyway. So that's just kind of the initial energy I'm getting, but let's see what your oracle cards have to say. So you have action. That's perfect. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. That's exactly what I was talking about. So yeah, I definitely feel like this is a very action-oriented month. I think some of you might have that confidence falter partway through the month, but then I think you're going to get another burst or you need to find a way to get that motivation back so that you can really charge towards your dreams. Because I feel like a lot of you maybe are feeling not good enough. Like I feel like usually that's kind of what is making people falter is feeling like you don't deserve what you want to go after or you feel like you can't do it or whatever. But I'm reading this humility card that says flowers are unaware of each other's beauty. They bloom regardless. So I feel like even like if you get caught up in comparing yourself to other people a lot of the time, don't. You know, everybody has their time. Everybody has their own like unique niche that they fill. So just try not to compare yourself to anyone else and just show yourself for who you are. Just get out there and take action and see what happens because you might be pleasantly surprised. You have truth here, which I love because I'm seeing this mirror. So when I was saying show the world who you truly are, I do feel like it is going to be like really, I feel like there's a lot of self-reflection going on with that hanged man. And then I think once you kind of figure out who you are and what you want, then it's time to show that to the world. Um, I think you're going to recognize it within yourself first and then realize, hey, you know what? It's time to take action on this. So that is awesome. I love that. You have Temple of the Sun. So that's very similar, in my opinion, to the Sun card. So it's very much um, about 
like just joy and success, happiness. I feel like, again, that fiery energy of the wands. So it's very action oriented. It's a very, um, I want to say a masculine energy, but I'm not talking about gender. It's just like masculine is active and um, just very direct. Like they go for things versus being receptive and taking time out. Um, so I feel like this is really encouraging you to take action on something and saying you will be successful. You just have to do it. I think the time for reflecting is around like it might be part of this month that you'll be reflecting but this is not a month meant just for reflection this is a month to take action to do things to go after what you want and then finally you have surrender to the divine full moon so i think a lot of you might have taken this pause or you might be taking this pause because you're wondering what's going to happen and you don't want to kind of go for something if you don't know what it's going to be or you don't know how it's going to turn out but this is saying you know what the divine is in charge just surrender to that take action and then see where you end up you know it's not take action and try to micromanage each step that you take along the way it's just go for it because this wands energy especially the ace is like bold and brash and just like jumps in and goes for it but isn't necessarily just like strategic and and very direct about things like very um like step by step every tiny step laid out like that to me is much more like swords energy and then that like slow step by step is more pentacles energy so I feel like in this this is just very like fire this is inspiration this is just going for it this is just very passionate um like fiery energy so I think that surrender to the divine is saying maybe even like allow that inspiration in because I feel like maybe some of you are restricting yourselves from going for it because you you feel that inspiration like you were in this kind of dark era and then you've got this like light and bright like sunny energy coming in from the other side but you're restricting yourselves so I think this is saying you know what the sun is coming in even at the bottom of the mirror here in the truth card it looks like the sun is starting to rise so I think that's saying you know that fiery successful joyful energy is coming in take advantage of it and go for something because I think a lot of you are kind of holding back and you're, there's a little bit of fear, but I think once you start feeling that excitement tipping the scales a little bit where that's a little bit more than the fear, that's when it's time to go for it. Fear is always going to be present as well, but just going for it, I think, is going to kind of help you overcome your fear as well. I feel like a lot of you are just afraid of what's going to happen, and I think it's just saying just go for it. Just jump in and do it. So I want to get your charms now to figure out some more information and we are going to use the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of the situation so group three what is coming for you in September all right you guys got a bunch of charms I didn't want to keep going and have you guys get like double the amount of charms of the other two groups so nothing fell in the heart so again I feel like this is another group where the situation is differing according to everybody. It's just very like thematic this month. It's not necessarily everybody is going through this scenario or that scenario. It's very much just a thematic kind of internal feeling. It's just an energy surrounding you. And now this hopefully will give you some more detailed guidance on your scenarios. So you do have 26. So September 26th might be a significant date for you. Um, also four. So September 4th might also be significant so just make a note of those dates usually the numbers for me when I do a monthly reading relate to dates but they can also be significant numbers in other ways so four is emperor energy that's very fiery that's Aries energy it's going for something it's making sure that you are taking control of your own destiny and not handing it off to someone else or letting other people make decisions for you it's you know that authority and like going for something in a structured way but still going for it you know it is fiery it's not earthy so keep that in mind you have from so some of you might be getting something from somebody this month whether that's a gift or communication I'm also feeling like you're maybe focused too much on where you're like what you're leaving behind or where you're coming from and not enough on what you're moving towards um, you have the little shell purse which often to me has to do with your sense of emotional worth because a purse to me is like worth you know it's money it's value but with the shell that's very watery so that to me is emotion so that to me is like you know kind of what what do you think about your emotional worth do you feel like you're worth this scenario or whatever your dreams are or do you feel like you're not good enough for it because I do think that that is kind of the crux of whatever is holding you back 
you have the sun as well so um that sun fiery energy that's really coming forward um i think all three groups had something kind of sun oriented so i love that that's very success oriented that's a lot of joy um just a lot of like clarity coming through as well but i feel like a lot of you are going to have that kind of brightness coming in this month some of you might need to speak up as well because you have the open mouth so I feel like a lot of you um, like throat chakra might be kind of feeling blocked and you're just really wanting to say something to somebody or with from as well maybe somebody is wanting to say something to you so keep in mind you might be getting a message this month that's going to change things or really help you make a decision or give you some clarity as well um, you have the fairy that's carrying something off so Fairies to me a lot of the time are about joy and magic, but with this one carrying something, I feel like that makes me think of like carrying a memory from childhood. For some reason, it's like making me think of inside out with core memories. Um, and fairies oftentimes um, make me think of childhood because it's like that childlike sense of joy and wonder when you believe in fairies and magic. So I think for a lot of you, maybe there's something that happened when you were a kid that's holding you back, that's making you feel not good enough. So whether that was your upbringing or your environment, um, even just like one person said something particular to you and it just stuck. That is the kind of thing that I feel like you're carrying with you. And maybe it's time to put that down or time to at least recognize this is where this is coming from. So it doesn't serve me. Do I really need to let that have all the power over me? Do I need to let that like lead my life anymore? And the answer is probably no. You have the horseshoe with the ladybug here. So that's again, a lot of good luck coming in, a lot of success because those are two signs of good luck. You have the squid here. Um, so the squid is making me think of like ink, like the ink coming out. So, I mean, for one, some of you might be writers or like, again, communication might be coming through. So some of you might be just wanting to communicate something or a letter might be coming to you or you might want to write a letter to someone. Um, but also with that ink being squirted, squirted, is that grammatically correct? I don't know why that doesn't sound right to me right now. Um, but with the, the squid and the ink, I feel like defense mechanisms is something that's coming to mind. So I feel like a lot of you might have a defense mechanism and that's like why you're holding back is that you're feeling, again, not good enough and that's kind of caused you to act in a certain way. And I think that's maybe the thing that this fairy needs to put down. It's like, it's time to let that go. It's time to at least recognize when you're doing that, when you're self-sabotaging, because I think it's not really serving you anymore. All it's doing is holding you back you have the dragonfly so that's transformation that's again joy a lot of joyful energy here the little flower talks about blossoming especially if you're feeling a bit shy about it if you're feeling again not good enough so this is saying you are good enough it's just all something that is kind of stuck in your head because of something that happened in the past or just something you were told or whatever but um, stag energy is also emperor energy coming through you know action oriented masculine it's like just very direct very powerful um so i think not shrinking yourself not neglecting your sense of power as well um yeah you have the moon so that's emotions that's fears so i feel like a lot of you have a lot of fear kind of driving your life right now so try to release that um we've got this feather or leaf i never really know what it is it's kind of making me think of a leaf right now but um, either way, this is making me think of kind of letting things go, releasing things that don't serve you anymore, and like a sense of levity as well, like that feeling of lightness. I think not keeping the heaviness around just because that's all you know. So if you're holding yourself back and that's feeling heavy, it might be time to try to release that, to try to do things a different way. Um, and feathers also, to me, are my signs for synchronicities and signs from spirit so if you are seeing something or hearing like lyrics to a song or hearing a particular song and it's making you think of something maybe stop and have a listen stop and take notice because that might be a particular sign for you to go for something because that's usually what it is is support saying you know what yes you can do this yes you are capable of it um, and the arrowhead as well is going for something it's directing your energy somewhere and then releasing and allowing that to go the whole way and then you have the letters Y and Z so um, that's making me think of like closure as well closing out a cycle because that's the end of the alphabet so a lot of you might be wanting to kind of close a chapter right now and those also might be significant um, 
letters for you, like initials, if there are names or words coming to mind. And why always makes me think of why, like you're wondering why something happened or why something is the way it is. So I think that's why that truth card came out for you to reflect on why something is, why you feel a certain way, why you're holding yourself back, because I think it's time for you to release yourself from that. So group three, I hope that this resonates. I would love to hear if it does, and I'd love to hear about your situations. So please leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.